Eid Mubarak, my friends. Uh, it is the end of Ramzan. Uh, and uh, Eid al-Fitr is here, which is, uh, for non-Muslims, I may tell you, this is the happiest day of the year uh, for children right across the Muslim world. Um, even people who don't go to pray ever uh, go out and attend prayers and kids everywhere expect, um, at least when I was one, uh, fresh currency now. It used to be one rupee that I used to get and it would last the entire day, trust me. Um, but it comes at the end of the month of Ramzan, which for some reasons, uh, for centuries it was called Ramzan in the Indian subcontinent but now that the Arabs have struck oil and fast depleting it every Pakistani Indian Muslim calls it Ramadan <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> and similarly uh, during Ramzan um, there are always this uh, calls out that Islam is a religion of peace and brotherhood and I often wonder why do we Muslims have to lie about it? Because Ramzan has always been the month of conquest. This is when all the wars have been launched, <coughs> including the, <laughs> the Ramadan wars, uh, Ramadan War of 1973, uh, which the Jews call the Yom Kippur War, when the Egyptians uh, crossed over the Suez Canal. Is Islam a religion of peace? I mean, George Bush may have contributed very little uh, to the rest of the world, but his remark after the 9-11 attack that Islam is a religion of peace, I'm sure came from a speech writer uh, low down the rank who said, I think the president should say that. And everybody said, well, Islam is a religion of peace Islam because George Bush says that. Islam is peace. These terrorists don't represent peace. They represent evil and war. Trust me, Islam is not a religion of peace. Evidence is to the contrary. I am a Muslim, most of my friends are Muslim, and we all know that the moment the Prophet died, Islam is a religion of peace or whatsoever, that concept died with it because Within, within hours of my prophet's death, fighting broke out between his followers. The prophet said there is no difference between black and white. What did his followers say? Oh, of course there is. The Quraysh, the people of Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh is destined to rule over the majority who we call the Ansar. And we then claim that it's a religion of peace. Every caliph after the Prophet Muhammad, I think three out of the four, were murdered by fellow Muslims. Ali, the son-in-law of the Prophet, was murdered while he was praying. Osman was murdered. Abu Bakr, the first caliph, launched the war of apostasy within a year, killing thousands of fellow Muslims who were declared as Muslims who were stopped practicing Islam, therefore they deserve to die, let alone everything else. The Umayyad Caliphate from Damascus slaughtered the family, the progeny of Prophet Muhammad, his grandson, his great-grandsons, babies were slaughtered. So our history is not of peace, for goodness sake, we can change ourselves only after we admit we are wrong. But if we keep on reminding ourselves that we are peaceful people, even as we kill babies in Kabul, there's something wrong about our psyche. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands have died in wars between uh, the Turkish Caliphate and the Persian uh, rulers of the Safavid dynasty. Unless there is a very powerful r recognition in our own hearts and minds, there is something wrong in the world of Islam. We're going to 
just continue the way we are. Islam is a religion of submission. Submission to the Almighty who created all of humanity. If we understood that, we would automatically be peaceful. The essence of our existence is based on confronting the fact that we have made Islam into a religion of conquest because our belief is that the entire world should be under Islam, under one caliphate, and then wait for the end of time so we can all then move over to real life which we believe is in paradise or hell. So let's face reality, be truthful and start from where we left off and recognize that only rationalism, science and common decency, respect for the others makes us peaceful. Contempt for the others does not make us peaceful, makes us hateful. Once again, Eid Mubarak.